Are you a winner or a loser? So are you going to hurt me? No. Can you be part of my team? Do you like me? Yes. But are you a loser? When you meet someone for the first time, there is this thing called first impression that is happening. Even in two seconds, people are making up their mind. So, it says from two seconds to seven seconds, people have made their first impression. Once the first impression is made, can we change it? Yes, we can. But it's hard. It's hard. Let's say Navin thinks, no, I, I, am not, I don't trust Sanjeev, I don't like him. Now, it's very hard for me to show, no, no, like me. Because he has already come to a position where he says, no, I don't trust him. So can first impression be changed? Yes, it can. But difficult. So it's far, far easier to create the right first impression in the first place. Then we not come there. So what are you asking? You are actually checking three questions when you meet someone for the first time. First is, are you a friend or are you a foe? Which is, but here it means, are you going to attack me? Let's say you are walking down the road and somebody is walking like this. You are not going to want to get close to that person because you think it. He might attack me. <laughs> so first question. First, first, first uh, this thing is personal safety check. It's personal safety. You are always thinking of your personal safety. So if you want people to feel safe with you, smile. Show your hands. Nothing in the hands. So you feel safer. So first is personal safety. Second is, do I like you? Do you like me? So ally or enemy means, can I work with you? Are you in my team? Can you be part of my team? Are you on my side? Now I know Upeksha is not going to kill me. Okay, so I feel safe. But now I'm thinking, yes, she won't kill me. But does she like me? So I think she won't kill me, but she doesn't like me. Then I, I don't, don't, don't like you also. <laughs> because, how am I thinking? I don't get any benefit by getting to know you then. <laughs> so you won't, you won't hurt me, right, fine. But there's no point of my getting to know you because I don't feel you like me. <laughs> then why should I waste my time? I'll go and talk to Vichitra, who I know can like me. So I, we can build a bond there, right? We can build a team. I can help him, he can help me. This is what we are always trying to find. So, do I like you? Do you like me? Can you help me? That's the question we are trying to ask. If I think Naveen can help me, good. We want people to help us. I don't feel threatened by him, but I also think, no point. <laughs> Finally is, are you a winner or a loser? <laughs> so, are you going to hurt me? No. Can you be part of my team? Do you like me? Yes. But are you a loser? Maybe. Then I don't want to get to know you. Do you. Are you competent? Do you have knowledge? Are you confident? No. See, no one wants to be friends with someone who is very visibly sick. If you have a family member who is sick, you will take care of that person. Right? Let's say while you are walking down the road, somebody comes up to you. Do you know If it's somebody you don't know. You don't want to just you know, pick up some germ from someone, no? So, we know our loser is, are you confident? So, first of all, do I, do I look confident? Do you look confident? The way you're walking, the way you're talking. So, if I started this program like this. Good morning. Uh, today, uh, we will start this program uh, from fear to fluency. Uh, you can see that I'm also very scared. Uh, <laughs> but I will try to help you to so you are not scared. And we will we will try some now. Okay? Half an hour. Are you aim a kiyan? Hey. You see? You're not you're not going to feel confident. So those are the three questions. Friend or foe? Ally or enemy, which is can I work with you? Let's say you, you won't hurt me physically, but if I work with you, you will, you know, undercut me, you'll try to take my job. Then I don't want to work with you. Yes? And are you a winner or loser? So those are the three questions people are trying to answer when they meet us for the first time. So 
very interesting study was done. I don't know whether this is, uh, must be Indian, no, Nalini Ambadi, sounds an Indian name, no, and Robert Rosenthal from Harvard did this uh, study where they showed students small video clips of professors teaching the class. They showed one group the video for 10 seconds and they asked them, do you think this professor is effective, warm, optimistic, professional? Okay, 10 seconds pen and some students said yes, some students said no. Then they showed another group of students the same video but only 5 seconds and another group 2 seconds and they found that the students whom, whom the students were saying is a good professor was the same when the students watched 10 seconds and 5 seconds and 2 seconds and where well, let's say Hasele said I don't like this person, right, he watched it for 10 seconds. Damit watched it for 5 seconds, Indika watched it for 2 seconds, but they are all saying the same person they don't like. And this is no sound, right? Only the body language of the professor teaching. No sound. Then what did they do? They went and checked it with the student evaluations of the actual students who had been there in the class for the whole semester and found it's the same. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So that's what they did here also. 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 2 seconds, same. Only non-verbal, no, no sound, right? Then they compared it with students' evaluations where the students had actually been in the class. And they, had known, they knew the student, uh, the teacher for three months. They knew the professor for three months. And then they compared the evaluations, more or less the same. So people are making up their mind purely from the body language. And it's true. <laughs> Even after sitting in the class for three months, they asked, is this teacher actually good? It was the same. And then, Vanessa Van Edwards repeated the same thing with TED speakers. TED talk speakers, I told you, right? We showed people without the sound and asked, is this a good speaker? With the sound, a good speaker, same. So, body language, very, very important. That's the Pope. Yeah, why did I put his picture? It's a nice smile, no? In, in my opinion, one of the most uh, genuine Popes uh, we have had for a long time. Okay, anyway. So, first impression, we are talking of eye contact. Eye contact, posture and hands. Some of you, one of you said that the triple threat. Eye contact, posture and hands increases oxytocin. Oxytocin is feel-good chemical. It's called, it's called the love hormone. When you have more oxytocin, you feel more comfortable, you feel more secure, you feel more love for everyone. The way you walk, the way you smile. You walk. See, at Unilever's, <laughs> I was working at Unilever's, Sometimes, let's say I, I don't have any work, but I can see bosses are looking at me, right? So I take a file. Mommy, but the writer said, Come Pull on me. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> right? And everybody thinks Sanjeev is doing something very important. But what if I walk like this? Shall we have a drink today? <laughs> right? Everybody thinks, ah, Sanjeev is up to something no good, right? <laughs> so, the way you walk, walk with purpose, walk with purpose. I have seen some of the most uh, influential, powerful people, when they are walking, they walk. Right? Walk. If you increase your speed of walking by 25%, people think you are much more important much more effective. Just the speed of walking. So do that. Don't walk slow. 